Hello, I'm Dr. Sounds Franche. What seems to be the problem, little lady? Other than I need a heart transplant because you just stopped mine. Well, um, I'm having a foot problem. You know what I actually think solves that a little bit of wine? I think anything that ails you can be solved by a little bit of Chardonnay and some chicken marsala and less government regulation. That's why I'm going to be a member of Congress one day. Um, well, I don't really think that's going to help my foot. Also medical marijuana and, um, sex. Oh. <laughs> you feeling me? Yeah, I'm feeling you. Wait, what about your wedding ring? Problem solved. Ah. Oh, doctor! Well, look who it is. Should I take your temperature, or can I assume that it is hot? Cut the crap. I'm pregnant. Present? No. No, sweetie, I, didn't, I don't bring you present. Pregnant. Pregnant. <laughs> Pretzel nut? Sweetie, you're, you're speaking English, but those are not real words. Pregnant, you idiot! With child, I have a baby inside me. That is disgusting! How did that happen? Really? You're a doctor, and you were there. I think you know how it happened. Okay, okay, we'll get it out. You can t take it out. You'll take it out. You'll take, you'll take care of it. You'll take care of it. You go to Atlanta and get this taken care of immediately. I think that's my decision. Wait. Why Atlanta? Oh, well, uh, Congress has made it really tough to get that done here in Tennessee. You have to have an ultrasound first, uh, undergo adoption counseling, hold the religious themed baby shower, convert a room in your house into an actual baby's room, simulate the first Christmas or Hanukkah. Um, you actually have to get a baby doll to suckle <laughs> at your hair press. If you do all that and you have a government issued photo ID and you can afford it, uh, there is, there's uh, one guy in Nashville that can, that can fix that. Weren't you one of the congressmen who made it that way? Well, yeah, I'm the guy that did the, the baby at the bare breast thing. High five. Oh, you're disgusting. Maybe I should make sure I don't have your spawn. <laughs> you, you said spawn. <laughs> you're pathetic. Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. One guy I work with thinks it's God's will that women get pregnant from some rapes. Even I know that's ridiculous. The body actually shuts down in the case of a legitimate rape. I'm a doctor. Wow. I can't believe we had sex. You really take that hypocritical oath real seriously, huh? No, I think you mean Hippocratic oath. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put on some rubber gloves? Spank me with the stethoscope? I don't mean to brag, but, um, girth. Girth.